Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're going to look at another issue that we want to um, implement, uh, another design we want to implement, is that when the player touches the spikes in our game, come on, when the player touches the spikes in our game, we want it to set a death animation and to reset the level. And so we're going to set that up right now. So what we need to do first and foremost is we need to set up on our player controller a death animation or a death uh, command. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in a custom event. Just kind of come up here down to the bottom. Trigger, or sorry, not, not a trigger, just a custom event. And uh, we're going to call that event death. Right? So uh, this is what's going to happen when you die. What happens when you die? We want you to restart the level. So how we're going to do that is we're going to load the scene name. And for the scene name, we're going to say, get the name of the scene that you are currently in. So the way you do that is you're saying, hey, get the name of the scene. Which scene? Get active scene. What scene are you on right now? Then that's what I want you to load. That's what you're telling this uh, command right here, that, that there is something I want you to do. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, label that our um, death uh, scene uh, death scene event. Let's just call it death scene event. So when we we um, die, we want it to load that scene. I leave it black for some reason. Black just seems like death to me. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do is we want to we want this to happen when we trigger our uh, spike collision. So when we collide with our spikes we want that to load our scene so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our level and we're going to click on our spikes prefab and we're going to scroll to the bottom of the inspector we're going to hit add component and we're going to add a flow machine to our spikes um, and when we add a flow machine to our spikes we're going to need a new macro so this we're going to hit new right here under flow machine hit new and uh, navigate to our macros folder and now we're going to do a new one we're going to call it spikes so uh, we had a couple uh, things that came out here uh, just ignore these um, uh, warnings on your console uh, take these both the start event and the update event and uh, we want to get rid of those and what we're going to do is we're going to call it do an on collision enter 2d on collision enter uh, 2d and uh, what we're going to tell it is that when you collide, well, what are we colliding with? When you com collide with a game object, compare tag. So we're going to compare the tag of our game object. When that compare tag is a player, then I want you to do something. So you're going to do something, right? Um, and uh, we're going to need a branch here because when it doesn't collide with a player, we don't need it loading the level. Uh, when it does collide with something, we need it loading the level. So uh, when that's true, when the, the player collides with you, then I want you to trigger a custom event. Which event? You guessed it. Our death, our death event. Remember we made that in our player. Uh, so what this is going to do is this is going to say when you collide with the player when the spikes collide with the player launch the death trigger and the death trigger was found in our player so um, basically what this is doing now is this is going to make it to where when our player collides with our spikes we should see this that it is going to reload this level oh something something didn't work what well, didn't work let's go find out um is my player oh I know what happened I know what happened we didn't set the prefab so we need to apply that to everything now let's try it let's see if that works Ooh, come on buddy oh no you complied it with it what happened why did you not do it um maybe we need something else Player controller graph. Let's go back in our player controller. Did I not spell something correctly? Let's make sure. 
Again, um, I understand this might not be very professional if, if uh, you know, you're like, hey, you're, I'm watching this tutorial video so I know how to do something. Listen, uh, mistakes are a reality of life. And if you can't, <laughs> if you can't make a mistake or you can't show people you make mistakes, then uh, that's on you. That's not on me. Um, what is going on here? What's wrong? Ah, I know what's going on. So when you collide with your player and yourself, that's what happened here. So this collider needs to go in two places. It needs to go in your self and it needs to go with the player. And when that happens, that's what I need you to do. So let's check in and see if it works now. Should work now. Hopefully it'll work now. Woohoo! All right, so it works. Again, uh, you need to make sure that you do save that uh, prefab under spikes. So go back up here it over, uh, overrides and make sure you hit apply on that. Again, what I was saying about the mistakes is I'm not editing out my mistakes. If you see a mistake on my uh, screen, um, you know, uh, I feel like that's a part of life. You're going to learn alongside with me. Maybe you knew what the problem was whenever you looked at that. You're like, dude, right there, you need to fix it. You need to fix it. Sometimes it takes me a minute. But anyway, if you're, I'm not insecure about making mistakes because I know I am a piece of crap game designer. I'm not good at this. I'm trying to learn. So if you're along there with me, and uh, maybe that'll save you some time there. You need to make sure that the two things that are colliding are uh, your, your player and uh, yourself. So having that set up to where it actually uh, does that, uh, maybe you can explain better to me than me why that line needs to be going from on collision to the enter to your trigger custom event. Is that basically saying... Uh, I don't understand why that has to be that way. So maybe you can help me out. Put something in the comment section if you if you know. All right, on to the next video.